everybody, it's Dizzy, and today I have got this very bronzy get ready with me using all affordable products. Um, for the eyes, it's mostly Espionage Cosmetics with a little bit of Coastal Scents, um, and then um, everything else is pretty much just drugstore. So um, if you want to see how to get this look perfect for spring and summer, just keep watching. Hey everybody, it's Dizzy. I'm sorry the lighting is not fantastic, but I'm going to be doing just a quick get ready with me kind of thing today, and I thought it might be fun to take you guys along for the ride. Um, my purple had faded out to pink, so I just topped it off with more purple, and uh, it's a pretty deep purple now, so I don't even know how well it's picking up like on screen. But that means that I can wear like my coral and pink clothes again, because I felt like when I had pink hair, having pink clothes was really weird. So this is just my Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eye Primer and I'm just putting that all over the lid and a little underneath. And by the way that is like no offense to somebody who had who can rock the same color like if they can rock pink all over the place then that's awesome and I've seen that done but the pink for me was just, I had to wear a lot of makeup when my hair was pink. It just wasn't perfect for my skin tone. So I feel like the purple is just a fancy bit more flattering. So because my hair is so purple right now, I'm using a Maybelline color tattoo to fill in my brows. This is the Vintage Plum color. This is a really neat shade for eyebrows if your hair is like some weird color like purple or mauve or like any ashy tone because it's very cool. So I'm just going to take a small brush. This is a little brush I got from the Wet n Wild Brow Kit, but it's an awesome little brush. And I'm just filling this in like it's an Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade or something like that. You guys want to come in closer? Let's come in closer. There, that's an eyebrow. Okay, that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this whole eye and then I'll do the other eye off camera and come back to you. So I've got that. I'm going to take a little bit of my Milani Brow and Eye Highlighter. This is the Matte Beige High Glow one. I'm going to take the Matte Beige. And just put a little bit of that right under the brow. And a little bit in the inner corner. And a little bit right in the center of the lid. It just kind of evens things out a little. Okay, now my eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using a few different things, mostly some espionage and a little bit of coastal scents. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Espionage Cosmetics Shadow and Karai, which is pretty much the only transition color I ever wanna use. I've talked about this before. But that's Karai, it's like a taupey with some pink in it. It's like right there. See? Topi. And then I'm going to take kind of a fluffy brush and dab off the excess. And just put it in the crease, just big, like a transition. So that's that. And see, I mean, like you can barely see it. It's almost the same color as my skin. But it's an awesome color just to blend in to the rest of the face. So then the next color I'm going to be using is going to be Sakura. Or Sakura. I don't know how to say it. But it's like a 
coral color. I'll show that to you. That's kind of a concentrated swatch of that one. Not that pretty. And then I'm going to take kind of a, it's like an e.l.f. professional eyeshadow brush. It's like this weird, stiff brush. I'm going to take a little bit of that. And I'm just going to like drop that on the outer part of the eye and kind of feather it and then take a blending brush. This is the e.l.f. Professional Eye Blending Brush. And then I'm going to take this little crease, the e.l.f. defining eye brush, which is like this little tiny angled fluffy thing, and rub that in there. I really get it into, you see where the deep crease in my eye is? And I have a deep set eye, so this method works pretty well for me. And blendy blend. And just keep building. Okay. So now that I've got that going. Now I'm going to take Reaver Red, which is from their Brown Coats collection, I think. Yeah. And it's... Focus! Kind of a cool color. It's like a brown, red, orange, kind of burnt rust sort of thing going. And I'm going to take just a little bit of that on that same brush I just used. And just use that to kind of deepen things up on that outer edge. And it's okay if a little bit gets down underneath because we're going to smoke that out. Okay. So now I've got that on there. So now I'm going to use a color that's just a little bit unexpected with the rest of these. I'm going to use Tokyo Rose, which is like a more pink and that same like flat brush. And this is pink, it kind of has some coolness to it. So that's the Tokyo Rose color. And I'm just going to pack Tokyo Rose on the rest of the lid, kind of blending into that sakura on the side. Which I think is pretty cool. Now, normally my favorite highlight is like a sparkly kind of one, but I think for this, I'm going to rein that in and go with something a little bit more matte. Just because these shadows are a little sparkly in places. So, I'm going to take, this is from the Coastal Suns palette, and this is the shade Chamois Nude. And sadly it broke. I kind of need another one, but that's chamois nude, which is like, I don't even know if you can see it, like a really light kind of vanilla kind of color. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that on 
This is like a Real Techniques base shadow brush. And just put that in. And then I'm going to flip it and kind of blend it in over there. And then under the eye, I'm just going to take a small like pencil type brush. This is the Real Techniques Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush. And I'm going to go back in with, I think I'll just go really soft under the eye. I'm going to take my Karai color, which is like that transition color we used. That's sort of taupey. Because we don't want it too dark under there. We just want it to have a little depth and dimension. Okay. Now we're going to do our eyeliner and mascara on the top. And then I'm going to do like my concealer and stuff and then put it at the bottom. So I'm going to curl my lash. Lashes. I have more than one. Barely. Okay. And then for my liner right now i'm doing kat von d's ink liner in hemingway which i showed this in a recent haul what's the color it's like a yellowy almost like i hate saying this but it's kind of like a poop brown but it's so pretty my pencil sharpener because it's not sharpened it's my jordana 12 hour made to last in the espresso last color and i'm going to sharpen this take um let's see what am i taking i'm going to take a tiny little brush I'll end up using this brush later. So I'm going to take this tiny little angled brush thing and just rub it in there. Almost like you're using it as like a gel liner because you basically are. And then I'm going to... I don't know if I can let you guys see this. Let's try. Okay, so... And this is why we do the foundation after, because I just got something like on my face. So I'm just getting that as on my lash line as I possibly can. That way I don't get the gap between like your lashes and your liquid liner, because no one has time for that. And then I'm going to take the Ink It and Hemingway. I just use that but with the liner already there it just makes it look a little softer and then I'm going to take that same little brush and I'm going to take what do I want to take how about Reaver Red I'm going to take Reaver Red which was that ready orangey kind of thing I'm going to rub the brush in that And I've been doing this lately. I've been just going through and taking like an interesting looking liner or eyeshadow and just stamping it on over my liner. And I think I just want a little bit more intensity. So I'm actually going to just wet this with like a little bit of like, it's like Visine saline eye drops. But anyway, I'm going to use a little bit of that to make it kind of a paste so I can foil this shadow because all of these mineral shadows can be foiled which is awesome so there's the reaper red and like there's it foiled see pretty okay i 
And I don't just use these straight out as an eyeliner because I feel like I don't have enough control that way. Personally. But you see how it kind of deepens it up? Like almost, see it almost like disappears, which I think is kind of interesting. And then whatever's left on the brush is going a little underneath. And it's very warm. And then I'm gonna take just a little blendy brush. It's one of the ones we used earlier that still has a little bit of stuff on it. And I'm just going over. Okay, for mascara today, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Voluminous. I'm still looking for a better mascara, but it hasn't happened yet. And this one's getting a little clumpy. It's probably right at the point where I need to replace it. Which is always a bummer. And then for my bottom lashes, I use the e.l.f. Lengthening Defining Mascara. Because the wand is like minuscule. Okay, well, it's not the smallest one in the history of ever, but it's pretty small. And it lets me find like the five, you know, lashes I have. And then I just comb through a little bit because it's more lengthening and get some on my, you know, lash. Okay, so I'm going to go to the other eye and then I'll come back. Okay, I'm back with the eyes done. And, um... It's, this is this moment when you realize that you've just done like reds and oranges on your face and now you look like you have seasonal allergies. So I'm going to go back in with my Rimmel Exaggerate in Nude, which is just a nude eye pencil. It looks like that. i put that in my inner rim. And then around that inner tear duct. Which it's funny that I call it the inner tear duct since you only have one tear duct. Awesome. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. Just getting my luxuriously short hair out of my way. So let's see. Um, things we're going to need. We're going to need to wash our hands because we've got swatches on them. We just had the light change, so I'm not actually this pale. So I realized on camera I look a little like death. Okay. What is in my eye? Okay, it's done. <laughs> now, um, so I've got that, and this color, these colors are like, yeah, really intense. So still something in my eye ah okay um so what i want to do now is do a little bit of concealing and i'm just going to take a little bit of the maybelline instant age rewind dark circle concealer and this is in the color neutralizer which is probably my favorite and i'm going to take a real techniques deluxe crease brush
voila there is brightness okay now I'm going to use a little bit of bronzer actually I'm gonna do my cheek color first because I'm layering it and it's a um, cream so it's the Maybelline master glaze in rosy blush I'm not sure if you can still get this one looks like that it's a really strong like matte and then I'm gonna take my elf Sabal stipple brush Okay, so I got that going. And then I'm gonna take this. It's a limited edition Wet n Wild thing. It's the Sunset Junction one. It's pretty cute. So it's got like a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. And I'm gonna take the bronzer. And then I'm gonna take like a bigger duo fiber brush and go into that bronzer again and just kind of blend it down. Go over my nose, just warm everything up. I'm gonna take a little bit of blush that comes in the palette. And then a little bit of the highlighter. Okay, so I've got my lip liner. This is the NYX one in Nectar. And it's very, very, very neutral, but very warm. It's my cat. He's very chatty. Percy! Hey! Do you want to say hi to the people? Let's see. Percy. Look, look at this baby. Isn't it cute? Isn't it big and cute and perfect? Yeah. I oh, know. Okay. For those of you who are not into cats, I'm sorry. And then I'm gonna take my Wet and Not Wild in Blushing Bali, which is this color. And let's see. I think we're gonna call that good. So I'll zoom you out. And there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me and I'll see you next time. Bye.